video we will learn about the nutrition in bacteria. Now we will classify the bacteria based on the mode of nutrition. Right? So I will make this video for the bacteria that can be used to 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 the category of bacteria is it can be if the bacteria can produce their own food or can synthesize their own food then those bacteria are called autotrophs they are called autotrophs and if the bacteria cannot synthesize their own food but depend on other organisms for their food are called heterotrophs are called heterotrophs ta mane jodi bacteria ke nijor khaddo nije prostut koribo pare tena hole ei bilak bacteria ke ami ki bole ko autotroph ba hopokhi bole kua hoy ta mane nijer khaddo nije prostut koribo pare aru kisuman bacteria ase je bilak ke nijor khaddo nije prostut koribo noare aru kiyote khaddo karone bilegor upor nirbhor koribo lage keto ki bole kobo heterotroph bole kua hobo now under this autotroph they can be again of two types they can be again of two types now what are the two types they can be again of two types they can be photo autotrophs photo autotrophs and chemo autotrophs chemo autotrophs now first we we'll look at the photo autotrophs mane ami ki korim autotroph bila ho ako dui bhag bhagam tuli ko kisu manak ki bole kobo photo autotroph bole kowa bo and kisu manak ki bole kobo chemo autotrophs bole kowa bo now ami same dia je photo autotroph ka koy now see if the bacteria can produce their own food with the help of solar energy that that bacteria will be called photo autotrophs photo means has come from the word photon sunlight right now you know that in case of green plants or eukaryotes the process is known as photosynthesis right here in case of plants what they do they take the help of carbon dioxide that means the plants absorb carbon dioxide and water and produce in presence of sunlight i write here sunlight or solar energy with the in the with the, with the help of chlorophyll with the help of chlorophyll they produce the carbohydrate that means carbohydrate is that is the glucose the carbohydrate is glucose now see in this process carbon dioxide is reduced by by whom by hydrogen by hydrogen and this hydrogen is provided by the water molecule that means when the water molecule splits up hydrogen is produced and the water is produced and that hydrogen reduces the carbon dioxide into carbon dioxide sorry into glucose or carbohydrate molecule now this is the food produced by the plants now see in this case as a byproduct what will be found we will find oxygen is evolved oxygen is produced when when the water molecule splits up or breaks then it is, it is split into hydrogen and oxygen oxygen is evolved and we the animals or we take this oxygen for our survival it is what ami jano je jila green plants ase nai ba eukaryotes ase tete ki koribo carbon dioxide aru water absorb koribo kori kinai hurjor poharor hoyo aru jitu ronjok podartho ase ronjok podartho ki chlorophyll ta hoya ki koribo carbohydrate mane glucose production koribo right aru ei je carbon dioxide glucose production hoar karone carbon dioxide ki hoy 
रिड्यूस है माने विजारित है और हे विजारित कोने करबो हाइड्रोजन करबो और हे हाइड्रोजन कोन पाइबो वाटर मॉलिक्यूल पाइबो और जेते वाटर मॉलिक्यूल तो भागी जाय तेते हाइड्रोजन और हाइड्रोजन और ऑक्सीजन रिलीज होय ऑक्सीजन तो बाय प्रोडक्ट हिसाबे फॉर्मेशन होय जेतु एनिमल ब्लाके मिठा उखाउस लय और आबा आमी लो हैने तो एतु हो कि अमर फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रक्रिया इन हिसाब प्लेन्स जेतु या की होल ऑक्सीजन इवॉल्व होइसे এই কারণে ইয়া কি বলি কোয়া হয় অক্সিজেনিক বলি কোয়া হয় ইয়া কি বলি কোয়া হবো অক্সিজেনিক হোয়াই ইট ইজ কল অক্সিজেনিক বিকজ অক্সিজেন ইজ ইভলভ অক্সিজেন হ্যাজ বিন ফর্ম দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াই ইট ইজ কল অক্সিজেনিক নাও ইন কেস অফ ব্যাকটেরিয়া সি দা কন্ডিশন দা सेम থিং হ্যাপেন্স দা सेम থিং হ্যাপেন্স হিয়ার অলসো আই রাইট হিয়ার হিয়ার অলসো কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড এন্ড বাট but difference is that in case of plants water is required but in case of bacteria in place of water hydrogen sulfide is used and in bacteria there are two pigments here also you will find two pigments the two pigments are bacteria chlorophyll bacteria chlorophyll bacteria chlorophyll and bacteria viridin bacteria viridin these are the two pigments found in case of bacteria now in in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight and this pigment i will write here simply pigment because it can be bacteria chlorophyll or bacteria viridin what will happen same thing that is carbohydrate or glucose will be produced and as a by product here sulfur will be produced in case of plants it was oxygen but in case of bacteria it is sulfur see in this case carbon dioxide is reduced by hydrogen by same thing but who is providing the hydrogen hydrogen is being provided by hydrogen sulfide here hydrogen is provided by hydrogen sulfide since in this case no oxygen is evolved this is called anoxygenic that is called the anoxygenic right is called the anoxygenic etia so ami jene ba green plant ba heuje odbidor khetrot ba eukaryotes er khetrot ami photosynthesis paisilo iar karone pigment profile ase kintu amar bacteria khetrot pigment bila ki hobo ba ranjok padartho bila ki ki hobo bacteria chlorophyll aro bacteria viridin etia e pigment or uposthiti कार्बन डाइक्साइड्रोजेन दिल्ड्रोजे कार्बन डाइक्साइड्रोजेज बन हाइड्रोजन सालफाइडन सालफाइडनोक्सीजेनिकाइडनोक्सी bacteria that is called chemoautotrophs now what they do this chemoautotroph they will use certain chemicals with the help of these chemicals they will uh, produce their food or energy right now what they do generally they will use or they will convert the ammonia this chemoautotrophs will convert the ammonia initially to nitrites nitrates and from nitrates they will be confined to nitrates nitrates now see in this process from ammonia to nitrates nitrates to nitrates energy is produced energy is produced and this energy is utilized by the chemoautotrophic bacteria example is example is <coughs> nitrifying bacteria example is nitrifying bacteria all the nitrifying bacteria come under chemoautotrophs what will be the 
Inactivate bacteria, for example, nitrosomonas. Nitrosomonas. This is one nitrifying bacteria. Then nitrococcus. Nitrococcus. This is another nitrifying bacteria. That means what? These bacteria will convert the ammonia in, uh, to um, nitrous and nitrous to nitrous. And in the whole process, energy will be uh, uh, produced and this energy will be utilized by this bacteria, right? So, yeah, so I chemo autotoxic salo. The yeah, bacteria black equilibrium chemical, this one chemical use curibo or chemical use curibo, hopti pono curibo, a big tip of hopti black yote use curibo. Can I take ammonia curibo yote? Automate nitrously convert curibo or nitrous or nitrile convert curibo or e book of energy production hobo. Our own black bacteria. Chemo atrotrop hobo, ebla hobo ki nitrifying bacteria. Zenoka, nitrosomonas, nitrococcus, ebla hobo ki bli kohai, nitrifying bacteria, nitrifying bacteria bli kohai, or a bacteria bla ke chemical use kore kai, hokti utpono kore. Now we will see about, we will learn about heterotrophs. You know, heterotrophs, they cannot synthesize their own food. They depend on other organisms for their food, right? Now these heterotrophs, they can be First, the first category of heterotroph is called saprophytic. Saprophytes. I will write here saprophytes. Now, saprophytes are those bacteria which depend, which depend on dead and dead and and decaying organic matter. Dead and decaying organic matter for their food. That means they will derive their nutrition from the dead and decaying, decaying substances. They can be plants, they can be animals, but they should be dead and decaying. Right? Now, example of saprophytes can be Clostridium. Clostro, Clostridium is an example of saprophytes. Right? It can be saprophytes then, it can be symbiotic. It can be symbiotic. Now, in case of symbiotic, both, that is, the bacteria and the other organisms on which the bacteria depend, they both are benefited. Both the bacteria and the organisms with which they are symbiotic. They are both, both, both get benefited from this, from this interaction. That means, both are mutually benefited. The bacteria also getting benefited, uh, benefit and the other organisms they also can get benefit from the bacteria. The classic example is rhizobium. The classic example is rhizobium. You know, this rhizo, uh, rhizobium forms a symbiotic relationship with the leguminous plants. They form the symbiotic relationship with the leguminous plants. Leguminous plants. Now, both their Mutually benefiting, they are, they form a symbiotic relationship. Now, what is the benefit that rhizobium get? Rhizobium actually take the shelter, take the nutrition, take the water, everything from the leguminous plants. And what the leguminous plants are getting? Leguminous plants are getting the nitrogen. That means rhizobium fix nitrogen for the leguminous plants, and leguminous plants are protecting the rhizobium. They are giving the water, they are giving the shelter to rhizobium. That means what? Both are getting benefited from each other. That is why it is called the symbiotic relationship and these are called the symbiotic bacteria. Rhizobium is an example of symbiotic bacteria. Right? The third category of heterotroph is parasitic or simply I will write parasite. Parasite means what? They totally depend on the host organisms. They depend on host organisms. They depend on host organisms. Host organisms. Right? And see, in most of the cases, these parasites are harmful. These parasites are harmful. In our case, in, if you consider the human beings, most of the disease causing organisms are parasites. For example, in this case, we can take the example of Vibrio of quality. Vibrio cholerae is a bacteria which causes the cholera and this is a parasite. This is a parasite. 
না আমি সোয়াইটামিন কি হিলো যে হেটোটক্স মানে জিবলা ব্যাকটেরিয়া নিজৰ খাদ্য নিজে প্ৰস্তুত কৰিব নোৱাৰিব ইয়াতে খাদ্যৰ কাৰণে বেলেগৰ ওপৰত নিৰ্ভৰ কৰিব লাগে এতিয়া হেই হেটোটক বিলাক তিনি ধৰণৰ হ'ব পাৰে এটা আছে কি সেপ্ৰোফাইটছ সেপ্ৰোফাইটছ মানে জিবলা ব্যাকটেরিয়া মৰা উদ্ভিদ বা প্ৰাণীৰ ওপৰত নিৰ্ভৰ কৰি জীয়াই থাকে ইয়াতে কি কৰিব জিবলা ডেড বা ডিকে নষ্ট হৈ গৈছে পচি গৈছে তাৰ ওপৰত নিৰ্ভৰ কৰি জীয়াই থাকিব আৰু এক্সাম্পল আছে কি আমাৰ ক্লোষ্ট্ৰিডিয়াম Clostridium ki kuribo de survive on the dead and decaying organic matter. Second category hol symbiotic. Symbiotic mane ya duta dutai duta dueta mane kam bujabo bacteria logot jar pop nirbhor kori solibo. Eta duta re lab hoy ase. Hane bacteria ro lab hobo aru jar pop nirbhor koribo taro lab hobo. Ta mane ya ami example lom rhizobium er khetro. Rhizobium kal logot relation somporko banai नाइट्रोजेन मानुरे মানুহৰ বেমাৰ বিলাক বেমাৰ হয় হেবিলাক বেমাৰ কোনে কৰে ব্যাকটেৰিয়া ইবিলাক কৰে মেক্সিমাম কি হয় প্যারাসাইটিক হয় পাইনে জেনেৰিক আমি এক্সাম্পল দিছো ভাইব্ৰিয়া কলেৰি ভাইব্ৰিয়া কলেৰি এটা ব্যাকটেৰিয়া হয় যে মানুহৰ ক্ষেত্ৰত কি কৰিব কলেৰা বেমাৰ হয় ভাইব্ৰিয়া কলেৰি কাৰণে কি কৰে মানুহৰ কলেৰা বেমাৰ কৰে তো টুডে উই হ্যাভ লার্নড अबाउट দা নিউট্রিশন দা ভেরিয়াস মোড অফ নিউট্রিশন হুইচ ইজ জেনারেলি সিন ইন কেস অফ ব্যাকটেরিয়া Now basically there are they are categorized into two types autotrophs heterotrophs and under autotrophs we have learned that uh, they are they, they can be photoautotrophs or they can be chemotrophs and under heterotrophs they can be what they can be symbiotic sorry uh, saprophytic they can be symbiotic or they can be parasitic these are the various mode of nutrition which is which are found in this of bacteria i think uh, you have understood uh, everything and i hope most of the contents or most of the things have been covered in this video as far as the mode of nutrition in bacteria is concerned i hope you have understood and got all the concepts from here at last i would again request you please to subscribe to my channel so that i can get motivated and make more and more videos for you and please do share as much as possible with your friends with, with your uh, seniors Uh, as uh, with with the, the all the medical experience because they it will help it will be helpful for them so with this i will conclude my class thank you so much